What is my coaching gym? This is a question that I receive all of the time and you might be wondering this yourself right now. Many people have expressed to me that they're curious to experience my coaching gym, but before taking the plunge or even signing up for a trial session, they want to have just a little bit more information. Right now, you're watching this video and this means that you could be anywhere in the world. In fact, English may not even be your primary language. But one way or another, you're seeing this because of your interest in your personal development. And when it comes to personal development, I've chosen to focus upon NLP or Neuro Linguistic Programming and Ericksonian Hypnosis as tools for personal success. Of course, supporting this, I have a background in transpersonal psychology, marketing, and advertising. For you to get what you want, it's all about communication. First with yourself and your unconscious mind, and then secondly with others. The coaching gym is the most effective way that I can work with you regardless of where you live. In order to make this possible, I use Skype video conferencing software. It's a free software program that allows us to have a video conference and talk in real time live around the globe. Secondly, I use another software program that allows me to record the audio of our session and it even records my notes. This also becomes a living document for you to track your progress on your personal development path. It's my desire that you'll find yourself in the future reviewing our coaching documents and you'll look back to the day that you made the decision to join the coaching gym as being one of those great catalysts in your own personal development. That said, my primary focus is upon creating empowering strategies for you within specific situations. The time might be well spent practicing or being tutored in NLP or conversational hypnosis so that you can learn how to apply these modalities in various areas of your life. Now when I talk about strategies for success or failure, it just so happens that people often look at me and they go, what strategies? And agreeing with them on many levels, I say that's right. What strategies? The strategies that have been causing you to experience success or failure in every single one of your endeavors. You may even find yourself stopping and wondering, considering the various areas of your life that have seemed so challenging and difficult until now. I remember having a conversation with a good friend of mine a while ago. We were talking about finding a path in life that had purpose and significance. And I asked my friend, why he thought so many people just seem to bump along through life without any real direction, all the while complaining that they can't have the experiences that they really want. And he looked me right in the eye and he said, that's because they have no clue what they want. They only know what they don't want. And my friend continued with this. I'd tell someone like that this. You can't have what you really want because you don't know what it is. Otherwise, you'd figure out a way to go and make it happen. And you'd have more than just a vague notion or daydream about what it is, all the while leaving it up to chance to happen. No, my friend said, if you really wanted it, you'd practice it, you'd dream it, you'd find people to help you achieve it, and then you'd act as if you already have it. And then one day you'll wake up, finding that it is a reality. Then my friend looked back at me saying, but most people are more satisfied daydreaming about hypothetical situations than actually going out and taking the steps to make something meaningful happen. Simply because this involves facing the unknown and finding out whether or not you're prepared for this. And the unknown is always frightening. If you've never experienced success in a specific situation, then you're going to have to do something different and go against your mind's preset programming in order to create an outcome that's by design. I found myself nodding yes, agreeing with this guy, because he's right. If you want to have a different outcome, then you're going to have to change most, if not all, of your approach. This means that you're going to have to become aware of your conditioned responses. That is, your immediate reaction to your environment in a specific situation. Perhaps the name Ivan Pavlov rings a bell. He's been credited with discovering classical conditioning or conditioned response. He was a Russian scientist who found through a series of experiments that the constant elements in a specific environment 
would become associated with the strongest physiological or psychological states. You may remember hearing about Pavlov's dogs who had been conditioned to salivate upon hearing the ringing of a bell. For those dogs, the ringing bell was an environmental constant. Its ringing was the precursor to being fed. The powerful psychological and physiological states of hunger caused the dog to associate the ringing of the bell as a precursor to eating. As a result, the ringing bell triggered the dog's neurology, causing it to salivate. We too are easily conditioned by our environments. I'll bet that even today, you can still remember the sound of the school bell ringing, signaling that school is out for the day. Or how about the last time that you were in a car and then all of a sudden behind you, red and blue flashing lights appear and a loud siren begins to wail. I'll bet that made your heart jump. These are two examples of unconscious reactions to your environment, and they both have different associated meanings. Your strategies for success or failure operate in the very same manner as hearing the school bell ring or seeing and hearing the lights and sirens behind you. In your mind, in just milliseconds, two totally different scenarios pop up, and these hypothetical scenarios are attached to different outcomes leading you to either pain or pleasure. And it seems as though you have very little control over the matter. But you do. In NLP, we refer to this phenomena as a synesthesia. A synesthesia is the blending of your five senses, happening so quickly that it's nearly impossible to tell where one sense begins and the other sense ends. Whether you feel good or bad in a situation largely has to do with the unconscious meaning that you are associating to that event. This is the focus of my coaching gym, deconstructing your strategies for failure or success in a specific situation, and then empowering you to create a new strategy that moves you closer to what it is that you want to experience. Again, I go back to the four major areas in life, health, wealth, relationships, and spirituality. If you want your experiences in life to be different, then you've got to take control of your emotions, your mindset, and then change your response so that it is by design. Let me ask you this, in these four areas of life, are you experiencing all that you want to, or all that you know to be possible for you? If you are, then that's great. If you're not, then it's likely that your strategies for success need to be updated. I believe that the immediate unconscious reaction to your environment in a specific situation is what determines your outcome. In 2004, researchers at Columbia University Medical Center found that fleeting images of fearful faces, now these are images of faces that appear and disappear so quickly that they escape conscious awareness. And these faces in the test subjects they created an anxiety response that could only be measured by the latest neuroimaging equipment. In my opinion, this is the depth at which success and failure occur. If you want to change your outcome in a specific situation, then you have to change your response by design at this level. Take a moment now and imagine going out into the future, a decade from now. Are you satisfied as you look back over those 10 years to today? Are you satisfied with the course of your life? Or do you desire something more meaningful, more challenging, more fulfilling? Ultimately, what is the cost of you leading a life that never results in the experiences that you want to have? And even beyond yourself, how does this affect the people that are important to you? Your investment in your personal development in any form is an investment that will transform your life forever and it will also greatly impact the lives of everyone that you interact with. I encourage you to sign up for a trial coaching gym session and find out for yourself if my approach will help you to experience what you want. If you have any questions, definitely contact me. Be amazing.